Hey, man, you ever heard of any major social media getting banned? No, I don't think so. Yeah, me neither. And we've lived through most of it. And we're about to cover that. But first... Hey everybody, welcome. This is The Commotion and I'm Roshan Joshi. And I'm Brian Manzali. And today on Reality Rants, we are talking about the rise of social media. But first, this episode is powered by McDoshi's, one of the best meal and catering services in the tri-state area. So if you want some awesome, wholesome, tasty, clean, good food, check out McDoshi's. We're going to put all the information in the description. Big thanks to them. Big thanks to McDoshi's. If you guys are noticing, by the way, before we even get too far into it, you're going to see that uh new set over here some new sponsors which is wonderful uh very happy to be working with them and we have a giveaway so if you want your chance to win a pair of signed mike tyson trunks definitely check out our giveaway contest it ends september 3rd so check out our giveaway contest check out our videos um and you have many chances to win these signed mike tyson trunks which i really want to keep but i'm giving them away to you guys yeah those shorts are pretty cool man (laughs) dude i just want to put them in a frame it's like do i have have a chance to win these can i try <laughs> yeah our our producer mufi uh did all the like signed up for the contest and i was like i don't feel like i need to tell you but i guess you're gonna learn now <laughs> you're not you're not able to win <laughs> it's not gonna happen so yeah man i think the reason that we have been brought here today is because uh president trump has said that there is a potential ban on tiktok i believe in september he may or may not be banning TikTok unless it's acquired by an American company because they are a Chinese company and there is a lot of uh, data hacking and stealing that he's worried about. You're not allowed to be having fun without attack. So yeah, it's pretty wild though. You know, because if he if he could shut down TikTok, it's just like at that point that's like an open door to shut down anything you'd be like oh facebook for this reason let's shut it down instagram i don't know about instagram they're shady let's shut it down you know yeah man like tiktok is like that first step yeah man i mean i think well the cover and the guys that he's hiding or having not hiding having is um it's a chinese-based company american information is going out there yeah Um, which i've I've also heard about info being stolen it's like as soon as i signed with tiktok like yo now they got your information (laughs) i mean that's anything that i've ever signed up for pretty much that's all i'm like whatever like everyone they have my information (laughs) they want it they have it already it's like damn it let's talk about aim first so that's like one of the first few things where i think that you can actually be social with somebody else through instant messaging so aol instant messenger back in the day you were able to create a username um i was very unoriginal i was probably like dude how old were we at that time i'll I'll probably say like for what like aim eight yeah eight nine something like that around there i just know that i was probably i think i was around in like sixth grade i had myspace oh yeah man dude so even before myspace though we were rocking with that aol instant messenger i remember my my uh my tag was white lightning you'd be able to uh to talk to people secretly uh not secretly from anybody but other than the people around you so it was very interesting yeah um, it's like I, I would mess with AIM. i feel like for me aim and myspace was around the same time only okay. because aim before i didn't really have access to a computer like all the time you know yes guys we do of course anybody in our age bracket understands that like you're probably like one of the first generations where your family bought a computer plugged it in you had the dial up and the dial tone yeah. like you can you can get <laughs> on the internet internet <laughs> dude dude i would get so mad at my mother when she would pick up the phone and i was oh, a little yeah. kid and obviously i, I shouldn't that get was a thing too how oh, dare you try to pay yeah. bills? Like, why are you picking up the phone? I'm trying to play a video game, man. Yeah, man. I, I remember that. that was wild. It's like the phone. It's like a phone call would ruin your internet. It would ruin your life. Hey, now my <laughs> phone is my phone and internet at the same time. And it's mobile, you know, like hard smartphones. No, oh, trust me. I know, Mr. Getting Chipped. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Throwback. Yeah, MySpace was like... Uh, was the hot thing man it was the bomb back then yeah i think that was the that was the first like mainstream social media that like really took off yeah i mean i think that's the first one where you uh were a that took off that there may have been some stuff before i heard the friendster came earlier i think you actually told me that yeah which i only heard about after myspace but um same but yeah, man, yo, that was one of the most customizable. I mean, I'm pretty sure MySpace is still a thing now, but I think it's just like music artists and stuff like that. 
Yeah, I haven't gone on my MySpace in like years. I be, I don't even. And like last time I went, it was the same thing. It's just like it was just for music, really, like artists. Yeah, man. Ghost Town, as far as friends. But but it was so cool because you were able to um, have like a wallpaper on anytime anybody visited your profile. You had like a wallpaper. You would have music that would play every time anybody visited your profile. It was like super customizable, and I think that that was one of the first major social media outlets that like took who you were as a person and encapsulated it somewhere. Yeah, that was cool because it was like a creative design to it, you know? So everyone just put a little bit of flavor to it. It's just like, it was so personalized. You know, like if you compare it to Facebook, it's not as personalized. It's not, no, everybody's- You go uh, into MySpace, it's like, you're gonna see what what I'm into, what kind of music I like. Not only that, but you're gonna see the top people in my life who i'm saying is like my top eight it's like these are oh the top top eight (laughs) there was drama you know what i mean like yo yo i got into a couple of beefs because yo how come i'm not in your top eight bro we talk like every day and i'm like dude come on man do i gotta say it to you my speech should have said it to you tom should have said it to you yeah yeah I, i went as far as making a separate facebook named everyone a top one and just did that just so people could stop bothering me so eventually funny. there was like a way you can hide it where like you're gonna have a top eight but it doesn't show on your page you know i remember when uh you, you just said a little bit ago that um turned everybody into web developers <laughs> like you, oh yeah you, basically you're, you're straight coding man yeah man it was not easy like it wasn't like a so much like as part of facebook right it was like you had to go through the code or the script for it and then change that it wasn't like you go on your user profile and upload wherever you want it's like no it doesn't work like that like you had to go (laughs) around like facebook to do this i don't even remember the fall of myspace but there was a fall of myspace um and then everybody just kind of started hopping on that that uh you know what i actually think that the demographic that populated MySpace was a young demographic at the time, and they just grew up. And then you had Facebook with the college type of scene. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, I got into Facebook a little earlier than I should have, I guess. I mean, I got into it in high school, so. Uh, I was actually, it was like seventh or eighth grade. You know what I mean? I was already, like I knew about Facebook because then I had friends in school. They're like, oh, like we're going to Facebook. I was like, no, like I, I love MySpace, so like I'm not trying to <laughs> something I committed I to Tom, man. Something I remember that I used to love was do you remember the bulletin board? And uh, there were like surveys. You could just do surveys. People would post like their answers to the survey, and then you can take it like a copy and paste, and then you do your own answers. You know what I'm talking about? I do. You know what? And I'm gonna bring up a point, but you just made me realize that like the more trimming of the fat that they did over the years, that's what that social media power came to. So, which is a good segue. So, of course you had like little um, successful social media markets that popped up, like Friendster for a little bit and Orchid for a little bit. If you're, if you're, if you're brown of some sort, like my Brazilian friend here, <laughs> me, myself, Indian. A lot of people use Orchid. Yeah, when we, we both, <laughs> oh my God. So you had a lot of these smaller um, social media platforms pop up, but then they did not really survive once Facebook took over. So Facebook, in which everybody already knows and everybody already has, is a Facebook that came out, what, like 15, 12 years ago, something like that? It was like, what? I don't even know. 2004? 2004, I think. Jesus. Not sure. Um, there. But yeah, so Facebook took over. It uh, started to dominate the market. And then once again, like you start trimming the fat. So you start trimming off the fact that you can customize your page. Now everybody's got a white and blue one. You start trimming off the fact that you can just start popping in music. That's wild. Uh, I don't get why Facebook got so popular and took over. It's just like, uh, I know in the beginning it was supposed to be like just for college kids. And I'm wondering if that's like, it was- You're only in college for X amount of years, but your information's gonna be there for a while. I mean, honestly, I don't even get on Facebook. The only reason I keep my Facebook is because I have pictures from like back, back, back in the day that I'm like too lazy to to save. It's like like, Facebook is kind of just like my, 
just my family catalog thing where it's just like I just I History, literally really the only notification that I keep on for Facebook is uh my yearly paintballing trip and that's it oh okay. Our yearly I, I thought you were gonna say something like the only subscription is the commotion because I need to subscribe right now <laughs> hey we are we're not on Facebook but I am glad that you brought that up before we go any further, make sure to hit that like button below. It really helps us out. Let's beat some algorithms here. Make sure to hit that sub button to stay up to date with all of our content. And make sure to hit that notification bell. And don't forget, we have a giveaway. We are doing a giveaway for a pair of Mike Tyson shorts. So make sure to hit that notification bell every time after you've automatically entered with subscribing to the commotion. Every time you comment on one of our new videos, that's another entry. You have you know you can get three to four a week so definitely stay tuned hit that notification bell and you're a part of the commotion crew but back to your regularly scheduled rants but yeah man you could definitely find the commotion on instagram and youtube and i do want to say we do have a pretty nice instagram it's pretty laid out well which is good segue because with the rise of facebook also came the rise of instagram then once again we start seeing that trimming of the fat man you start seeing that you don't have timelines anymore that you can post to. And it's strictly more of a uh, photography-based social media platform. Yeah, it's uh, I like how you said that too, like trimming the fat. Because I didn't even really look at, that, look at it that way. Like, dude, I didn't uh, look at it that way speaking. until this conversation just like two minutes ago. Really? Yeah, dude. dude, dude as like, you were I, speaking I didn't, even, I didn't even think about that. It's just like MySpace had so much and then it was taken away with Facebook. And then Instagram has so little, you know what I mean? Like it was just photos and then caption. And then I think hashtags came. Hashtags weren't around the whole time, right? Did Instagram really start using hashtags? Well, Instagram it wasn't started- on Facebook. I didn't know that for sure. Well, Instagram started with the hashtags in my opinion. I think I'm pretty sure actually. I think so, right? Yeah. But, uh, but very... now it's become like regular. Dude, I used to call this a pound sign 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> now it's a hashtag. Like what? That's true, uh, but very simple. And that's actually what I liked about Instagram, which was weird because I loved MySpace so much and didn't want to go to Facebook, went to Facebook and then Instagram came out and it was like the simplest of all of them. And I was like, yes, this is great. I just want to look at photos, which actually is, I feel like says something about everybody's attention span just getting like smaller and smaller and smaller <laughs> is it is it is it the fact that everybody's attention span is getting smaller or is it that our eye for detail is getting better and we don't need these overly complicated explanations of what the hell is going on picture says a thousand words yeah double that's short. true i like that so you start seeing instagram kind of getting like tailor-made I, I know i know snapchat is technically like a social media platform but uh it's a very private, disposable social media platform. It's it's very one-on-one -on -one communication, not really community based. Now I know yeah, that, that was their main thing. Yeah, like, disposable messages, like it self-destructs. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Even took over too. Like they have their same feature now. That's why everybody got sent the news. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was the platform. <laughs> that was that was the platform. That really, drove it, the platform. It, it, that drove like a a different part of the porn industry. You know what I mean? Like there was no Snapchat, and now it's like all of a sudden it's just like I feel like Snapchat. That's all it is. It's like I don't even know what else people use it for. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's it's a very interesting... I'm not going to get too far into it because we do have age variations that Try watch PG, us. PG-13. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So the thing about Snapchat and the way that it kind of affected Instagram was interesting because Instagram did not have stories before. Snapchat kind of started with the stories. Then Instagram was like, oh, snap, let's get stories too. And then Facebook was like, oh, snap, let's acquire Instagram and then get stories too. So it's kind of cool how you see these different platforms play off each other as well. Yeah, definitely. They trimmed the fat even more. They trimmed the fat even more, man, because now they took away the pictures. And they said, you know what? Nobody cares about the pictures, even though they do. Um, let's do maybe like 15, 20 second videos instead. And there uh, came TikTok. We actually did forget one platform, though. What um, did we forget? Vine. 
<gasps> Remember Vine? There was like 30 second videos or 60 seconds, whatever. Dude, it was. careers were made off of Vine. There were there were people that are in movies now because they started off doing Vines. That's crazy. Think a King King Bach, Batch, Batch, King Batch. I batchered his name. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 but there, there are a couple. There are a couple of people that were that got really famous off of Vine and then just kind of moved forward. Which is a cool thing about social media, you know. It definitely gave people jobs. You know, there's people that are very wealthy, very wealthy. And the ripple effect has been immense because it not only gave the specific people or content creators in front of the camera a job, but now they also gave producers new jobs. They gave, they made a whole entire new law subsect of social media law so it's a ripple effect everybody kind of kind of eats a little bit when it when something new pops up uh before you had said something uh we're actually going back to trimming the fat off the social media yeah yeah something new that we kind of just learned through this conversation trimming the yeah fat. so with that we also see that with twitter you know twitter's been around for a while and at first it was kind of like oh barely anything on your profile just do statuses it's like whatever thought that you have is like you put your status but twitter actually became like an information platform you yeah know, man news uses it like politicians use it like everybody uses twitter for information like everybody's have, always looking at what's trending for the day to kind of understand what's going on in the economic world the social world the the world yeah this is wild and it's like even like you watch the news and it's just like on the bottom they're like oh here add us at twitter you know tweet us and i'm like that's insane where that social media platform went i love how you brought that up i actually kind of forgot about that split so yeah like you're right so you have certain portions or certain categories that took that that video route and then you have twitter that dominated that like messaging audio uh, not audio but that messaging that um information based that status giving kind of deal yeah definitely information it's like the only one i could really think of that's like oh if i want information from a business like up to date like i want live every day they say something i go to twitter yeah you know i'm glad you brought that up but and i like how everything we talk about always comes full circle because we started with the tiktok ban and i think we've kind oh, of yeah. come right into it yeah man yeah, where um, we have taken Instagram, we've trimmed the fat there too now, and said that, hey, we don't really need your pictures. We just care about the videos. We care about the stories. We care about the challenges. Um, and then they made a whole entire platform based off of that. Yeah, I thought it was cool. A TikTok actually, it's like a social media platform. Um, so actually, how MySpace gave people like that creative like web design, um, Instagram gave us like photos with filters like that was a big thing True. Snapchat filters with ourselves you know like just our faces yeah and yeah and with the messaging and then TikTok it took it like a here's a, a f like a user-friendly Adobe software where now you can do awesome video edits and transitions crazy effects you know and it's like uh it's like they cater to the content creators from Instagram, you know, because Instagram is like, that was like the main thing. It was that and YouTube for content creation. Yeah, no, facts. And and you're right. It's like they took an already existing platform and tailor made it and ready made it for the public using, you know, their own spin on it. It's uh, it's it's interesting. I feel like that's always kind of kind of be the progression. Now, if TikTok does fall, uh, I think uh, I think Byte will be the next one that takes over. Byte? I actually don't even know about this one. Dude, dude, I just made a Byte the other day just in case. Really? You saved the promotion <laughs> name. Yeah, man. If TikTok goes down, you can follow us on Byte <laughs> and get awesome clips of everything from the commotion. Um, but, yeah, it's B-Y-T-E, I believe. And, oh, uh, like my song? <laughs> And if That's you want to check out tracks. awesome music, check out Be The Human. His info is in the description below. We are just plugging and plugging and plugging all day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, so it's called Bite. I think that may be the replacement for it. Now, they, they have like video clippings just as uh, TikTok did. But I've, they have like little categories and selections as well. I haven't really navigated it as much currently, but uh, we may need to. We may have to. 
I mean, it's definitely a good idea to do that, you know? I definitely try to keep an eye out on social media, especially if you're a content creator. It's just like, dude, if that's the next thing, that's the next thing. The, the sooner you're on it, the better. Damn, damn straight, absolutely. When you know that you're able to attract a public platform that not a lot of people are on and you know that they're gonna start migrating to, it's like setting up your, your shop or a stand on the side of the road before a parade. A lot of people are gonna be buying that lemonade. The one thing I would feel bad for, you know, I don't really use TikTok like that, uh, but the one thing that I do feel bad for the people that are already on it and have kind of created their own brand and their own platform through that uh, through that content creation is that they are going to have to try to migrate somebody somewhere else and then bring that retention of audience that they already had over somewhere else. Yeah, man. Hopefully uh, it doesn't get banned. Um, it's tough, though. Like, I definitely have uh, heard about the whole information stealing. That's, like, my only thing. It's just, like, yeah, like, that I sucks. mean, that's the main but, thing. <laughs> yeah. But it's just, like, you know, it was the same thing with Facebook. They're, like, oh, they sell your information or they do this. And it's just, like, people continue to use it, you know? Yeah, I mean, I used to be a lot more upset about the information exchange. But as I got older, I understood, like, this is all stuff that I'm putting online. This is all stuff that yeah. you can easily find out from, you know, three or four stalkerish Google searches. So. Yeah. I mean, there's somewhat, like, ways around it where uh, you can use DuckDuckGo instead of Google. Like, that's a big one. You know what? Just be smart enough to understand. Don't put your credit card information on this stuff, guys. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's you're true, good. You good. I don't have, like, oh, any good. of that. It's like, uh, even if you wanted to do like uh, promotions or something on your page, it's through PayPal, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so anything pay- else, I don't think I've ever had to like put a credit card in social media. Nah, I don't think Yo, so. As long as you're not funny with your money, you are good. All right? Yeah. <laughs> You'll be good, honey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah, man. I mean, we not only showed our age, because we did show our age a little bit, but we did just kind of cut through our version of the rise of social media, especially in not only America, but the world. And it's so strange how the trip has gone from, um, from kind of that AIM days, the AOL Instant Messenger now to uh, these platforms that are really taking over like Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, and it's really only evolving, man. It's, uh, I'm very curious to see what happens, you know, because we've actually, growing up like not just through social media but tech you know what i mean like we saw smartphones you know come to existence you know so it's just like with the social media uh i i I wonder and i'm curious to see what's going to be next and uh, especially with uh, the neural link we talked about in one of our videos we will be following back up on that too yeah there's going to be an update on that so just imagine what that could be with social media, you know, yeah. more link with whatever other social media that you can have. It's wild. Love it. So that's it. We are wrapping up on the commotion for this segment of Reality Rants. Powered by, this episode was powered by McDoshi's. Make sure to check out McDoshi's, one of the best quality, tasty meals that you will get. Um, McDoshi's catering, McDoshi's meal services, one of the best in the tri-state area. Love getting my food from them. And make sure to check out our giveaway. We are giving away a pair of Mike Tyson trunks. Check out our giveaway post for entry rules. Terms and conditions will be in the description. And you have multiple chances to win, so make sure you get at it. And finally, you already know, LSN. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, guys. And once again, I'm Roshan Joshi. And he's Brian. Brian in my whole life. Stop that. Brian in my whole life.